Let me explain it to you one more time. Do you want to hear it one more time? Okay, so the last time I was on, I was playing a character called Bob. I was contractually obliged to do X amount of live appearances as that character. That contract is over now, so I'm not Bob, I am myself. But you still hate women? No, I never hated women. That's the problem, that was the character, and now I'm here to show who I really am. It was a character, and I'm not that character. But you're still an obstacle? No, an obstacle that was, was a course. A, that was a course, it was an obstacle course, course wasn't it? Yeah. No, it wasn't still a not, course. Right? This is so frustrating because yeah. the person whose job I'm doing is the only person who will be able to understand what I'm trying to tell you. I am not Bob. So who the fuck are you? I am Craig Baldwin. It's on my fucking driving it's license. An, is this another character? No, it's not another character. Look, look, look. You can see it plain as day. That's my name. That's who I am. That's me. I'm coming on as me to redeem myself because I hate the fact that people would see me as this horrible misogynistic character that I was playing that isn't who I really am. So you got a fake ID. Oh my god. Right. What would Mick think? What would Mick say? I'd be. Yes. Brexit. So this guy had a little catchphrase, didn't he? Something about proles. I need something like that myself, then I? I could be like, my name's Craig Baldwin. Reason has always existed, but not in a reasonable form. Today we're discussing the reasons behind Brexit. Something like that. What was that? That was Karl Marx, wasn't it? Maybe I could say it was my mate Karl down the co-op. So are you listening to me? Okay. A little bit. I've got a mate called Carl, he lives down the shops. He works in the co-op. Has he got the ginger in? No, he's a communist. My name's Craig. My name's Craig. My name's Craig. And today we're going to be discussing the reasoning behind Brexit. Oh, wait, the politics right now. All right. You guys have heard about this whole thing with the Labour Party and the, the bunch of people parting off and join, joining, like, because... So basically... Oh, my God. Uh, Mick you, used to do all the politics you, stuff, didn't you, he? Yeah, he you in guys need that. to read up on this, seriously. So basically, like, a bunch of uh, Labour Labour MPs have decided, oh, no, Labour's too anti-Semitic, Labour's too this, Labour's too that, and they're, they're parting off and forming their independence party. All they're basically doing is... Dr oh, wait, hang on, I do know this. Conservatives have also joined though. Yeah. And they were like for Brexit. Now they're not for Brex, Brex, breakfast, Brexit, whatever it is. Now, this brings me nicely round to what I had to say about the other guest who's on the show today. Who's that? What we got? Well, the sponsors insisted that we had to have someone who was going to disagree with your kind of point of view, even though obviously you've got a good point of view. Okay. And they kind of said who I had to give on. And I know there's who? been a bit of like issues who in the is past. It? It's a. Uh, who is it? It's Brenda Timpson. Are you Who's that? fucking serious? Who is it? Brenda fucking Timpson. Mate, oh, we do not need this right now. Let's, well, the sponsor said that we need to have a different point Why are you giving her a platform? Balance. Well, Balance. Balance? Yeah. 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 You, you, you can shine. Oh. You, you, you shine. Yeah. And do, do, do I look like I'm particularly shiny right now? No. I am not. Mate, the, Oh, this is ridiculous. Like, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be okay. No. Reason has always existed in the world, but not always in a reasonable form. Today we're discussing the reasoning behind Brexit on Right Here, Right Now, with me, Craig Baldwin. On today's show, we have former UKIP councillor, Brenda Timpson, and current Labour councillor candidate, Peter Stevens. I mean... Me, and, Kevin Decline. And Don't Kevin, forget me, Kevin and Decline. Kevin Decline, yeah. although I'm not entirely sure why. Um, Some of the best. But uh, it, welcome to the show anyway. Yes. Okay, so yeah, we're discussing Brexit and we're going to be looking uh, primarily at the hows and the whys. Um, and first, let's discuss the how. How did this happen? 
Over to you, Brenda. Well, David Cameron took the initiative and decided we should have a vote on the referendum of whether we should stay or leave. And guess what? It was Lee, so there you have it. Yeah, well, I think it's a bit more complicated than that. Because, let's be honest, if we're talking about democratic principle here, right, you're saying yes and no to a question that has such wide-reaching implications. How is that democratic? You're not saying, okay, so do the people want us to leave on these terms, these terms, or these terms? No, you're like, yes or no. How is that like, ha explain to me how and, uh, I, I would just like to say, it, for me personally, it's great to have a, a strong, empowered female voice on the show. That's really important <laughs> for me to, to do what I'm doing. It means a lot that you're here to give that reason and powerful voice. But isn't there a bit of a democratic issue with that people's vote? Plain that okay. Wow, because I'm a woman or because you're talking about democratic... No, 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 no. not because you're a woman, but, but because you... because he hates women. You think that the... I don't hate women. It's because the vote was democratic you think the vote was democratic but could that really be a justified point no i generally well i actually think it was a democratic decision you either, oh. yes, you either say yes or no what's hey, well, not democratic uh, let's give her that? the opportunity to to say a piece because maybe because she's a strong empowered woman she might come to okay. some sort of reasonable okay. point okay i mean you either voted or you didn't the majority who went out and voted decided that we were leaving there's nothing non-democratic about that, as far as I'm concerned. Not a communist country. If it was communist, we wouldn't have had or not been able to make the decision, yes or no. OK. We choose uh, yes. Do you want to know one of the scariest facts to date about this referendum? You want to know the biggest Google search in the UK when that result came out? Do you want to know what it was? Oh, go on. Anyway. How much does the bus cost? Because it's only like £35 billion for a bus or something. No, it was... Is it bus, like in the NHS? The biggest Google search on the day of the result is what is the EU? Do, do you understand how, how that that to me doesn't scream oh we've made a we've made a democratic decision as a country informedly so you know yeah, I mean that is a real concern that people don't understand what they're getting themselves into uh, definitely for sure how how would you represent your your constituents uh, with this issue well the fact is all right what we need we need a people's vote we need to get um, excuse me we uh, had a people's no, vote no 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 we had a yes or no yes. for something that is so widely reaching right it's something that do that it's not it's not as simple as yes or no in or out is not that simple. By simplifying it so much, you have made it undemocratic by saying, okay, yes or no, we'll leave it to them to discuss the what 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 the actual outcome is, but we'll just say yes or no. There are far That's, more wide reaching You know what? I don't actually issues. agree with that. It was yes or no, yes or no, but it's still a democratic decision. Okay. I but, think at the time, most people thought Whatever it was they were thinking about for their reasons for leaving or staying. So what, 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 was your, what, what was your reason you know, for leaving? What my was your, reason what for was leaving? Your, yes. You want to know my yes. reasons for leaving? Yes, okay. I do. My reasons for leaving were the fact that I think we would be more open to trade with other countries, not just the 27 countries that you can okay. to. So that, that that's, that's, that's your reason for leaving, right? No, bear I'm with me. Let's yet, listen sir. to me. Listen to me just for a moment. The way us leave as well. Bear with me. I'm currently in the middle of a point. So that was your reason for leaving, right? Yes? I'm asking you a question. And I'm answering it if you would let me. Yes or no? I'm just, I'm trying to... You're supposed to be acting in a reasonable way with this. You can't even control your guests. Why didn't I do this earlier? Pfizer. What the fuck is Pfizer? Is it Pfizer? Pfizer, Pfizer, whatever, it's going up. Pfizer's going up. Okay, so I'm really glad that you're here. I'm really glad you're on the show. It is turning into a bit of a farce, so I really want to kind of rein it in. Yeah, like, uh, I've got you on air because I thought this show really needed, like, a strong, reasonable female voice. But I am being strong, I am being strong, but that twat over there is not letting me say my point of view. Uh, it's just really starting to wind me up right no, now. No, I completely He's get that. He's not listening to me. I know, but we've got to try and keep it reasonable so that listeners I'm can trying. hear your individual points. I know, I know. It really needs to be reasonable. So if you can do that for me, that would be I, amazing. I can't promise anything. I'm obviously I'm trying, as I'm a strong, independent woman, but he's just not listening to me. He refuses to listen. You know, and it's just making it more and more difficult for me to keep quiet and calm. I know, I know. I am normally a very calm person. But he's driving me up the bloody wall. Oh, I get that, I get that. I you do. know, can't you tell him to just shut up? 
I really don't understand why you had to have her on. I, I mean, look, I, I get it was the sponsors, but mate, that's counterproductive. Bring both of us onto the screen. We're just going to... We're not compatible people on, on a public platform. No. No. That's not what's... Put, I mean, okay, look. I get that I voted leave to begin with, but that was... That was... Slightly blinded on my part because I was a part of a cer certain faction of the Labour Party at the time that kind of convinced me to do so, and I'm not going to lie, I do regret that. I do regret voting Leave. What would Mick have said if he'd known that? What would Mick have said? Yeah. Well, you obviously know Mick way better than I do, mate, yeah. so you know, you would have been Mick. sad with you. <sighs> he would have been sad, and then he'd been angry. Yeah, I'm. Those are the, my sentiments exactly. Yeah, he's clever, Mick. He always gets it right. Well, I've, I've had a word with him, and, and I'm, I'm having a word with you, and I'm just trying to rein it in. I'm just trying to hold it together so that, you know, the people that you've represented in the past and the people he's represented now can hear, like, the two sides of the argument. I'm really trying to bring it together in a reasonable well, way. That's absolutely great, but, you know, let's just hope he maybe he changes attitude towards me. We've had to take a break here, I'm right here right now, and for anyone that's listening who's just joined us, right here right now, we're having a discussion about Brexit, which is something that's happening in this country right here, right now. And with us we have Brenda Timpson, former UKIP councillor in this area, and Peter Stevens, current uh, Labour councillor uh, candidate in this area. Um, in the first half, uh, it got a bit heated, and for that I blame the person who booked two guests on that have a deep and intense personal history. I don't know who's responsible for that. But we will try to continue in a nice, reasoned and clear manner. Okay? 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 Good. So, we've talked about how Brexit happened. Let's discuss why. Why did Brexit happen? Why has this come about? Um, we started with Brenda in the first half. Let's start with you. Why does this happen? Why is it happening? Division. This country has been so thoroughly divided by these issues to the point where it, it, it's division and racism that has basically brewed racism. this, this political... Anymore, does it? Oh, for goodness sake, no. please let the adults talk. So, look, currently... Excuse me? What? Adults? I'm sorry, but this guy, like, all the whole show... He, he just doesn't really see let's, what's going on Let's take on it here. back to the focus of what we're talking about. We're talking about Brexit and we're talking about why. So so what do, you, what do you think as to why this happened? What is it? I think it happened because people were just basically fed up with the way the country's been run and needed a change. And they're going to get just that by giving it all to the Conservative Party. Is it anything you mean? to the Conservative Party. What? Well, because Why now, they, now, they, now they are unaccountable. Uh, how great is that? Think about this, right? We now have an unaccountable Conservative Party who is not accountable to a higher power such as the EU, who can now ravage Excuse our me, public services me, and our no. human rights. Wait, they're appealing the Human Rights Act. Oh, Re don't give me that human rights, human rights Act. Act. Listen, I'm just saying, how could it... What? It's not necessarily to do you with the Conservative guess. Party. Jesus, it man. came with onto every party that took the decision to have a referendum. So at the end of the day, how can you say it's all the Tories' fault? I'm not no, I'm it. saying, I'm not saying, it's the, well, it is the Tories' fault, but basically what the issue is, is now they are unaccountable. Do you understand how dangerous that is? Yes. That basically means that we now have, we now have a neoliberal policy party that is basically ra going to ravage all our public services, get rid of our Human Rights Act. Are Mate, you right? We haven't even got human rights now, half the time. So which I'm shows how much you know, doesn't you know, 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 know what you're talking about. about. You're you both make good points. Well done, Shut Let's up, point. Kevin. Sorry, Bob. We're talking Kevin. about Craig. Craig, Bob. Craig, Bob. This is supposed to be a reasoned discussion about Brexit. Then actually invite intellectuals to come talk instead of... So what you guess out? She's a strong, independent <laughs> oh woman. Oh go again. I, I, I mean, look, look. I am strong. Look, I'm a feminist as much as the next man, talk. okay? But as soon as you just invite a, str a, a woman on just for being a woman with not, without actually having sound discourse and actually knowing what she's talking about, then we can talk about strong, independent Excuse women. Excuse me? So, Do you want to repeat that to me? Hello, I'm here. Yeah, I know you're here. So and maybe? 
I think maybe you should shut the fuck up, basically. I've tried discussing no, with you calmly, it just doesn't work. There's no need to shut. It doesn't work. No, because every time it's all right. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> this is supposed to be a fucking reasonable discussion about politics in a very reasonable way. It would be if he didn't go on and on and on. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up. Right, it's got out of control. It's got out of hand. This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm, Good job. I'm gonna well wrap up. Okay, so Brexit. Final thoughts. Brexit has been a massive cause of division in this country. Uh, it has caused a, a, a lot of anxiety, social anxiety, uh, and, and economic anxiety, and that's left to a whole pref uh, led to a whole plethora of problems um, that the whole nation is facing. These women issues. And this is something that is not going to be resolved very simply. We can tell from this discussion that it's very heated and it creates a lot of, uh, it's very emotive. Uh, and I guess as representatives of the people, you've got a job to do to make sure that the people feel represented. And that's a very difficult, tough uh, job to do in these divided times. So we'll have to, for the sake of time, agree to disagree and perhaps go away and reflect on how we can be more reasonable and less emotive in our communications. I have been Craig Baldwin. This has been right here, right now, and I'm glad that right now it's over. Thank you, good night. So. How did you think that went then? Really good wasn't as good as Mick would have done it, I, I obviously, but still, for a new person, very good. Do you think it was good? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was like, if, if Mick was an 11, then you'd be like a seven and a half. Well, maybe things might have gone a little bit better if the person organising the guests hadn't chosen two people who had a very public hatred for each other. And then maybe the person who was brought in to guest host this show, who was trying to redeem themselves, who made that perfectly clear to you that I wanted this to be a vehicle for the rejuvenation of my career, might have had a chance at putting himself across as a decent human being who was capable of reason. What yeah. happened, was it? You, well, it wasn't really my fault, you see, that bit. Sponsors. Who chose the guests? Well, they kind of told me I had to choose. I said, I used to choose the guests when Mick was here. You let me choose the guests then. How did you, you know, think it went? I think you're looking pretty small in that chair. I think I think oh that chair's too big for you. But you know what, you're fucking welcome to it. You're welcome to it because this was supposed to be a fucking big moment for yep. me. We discussed no, that, no. it was explained, and I was supposed to redeem my career and put myself across as a decent human being, and you fucked it. No, 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 no. It'd be good, it'd be good with you in charge. You'd be, you'd, you'd, you could be the guest host but all the Th time. This sounds like a woman's issue, that's what I'm saying. I would not sit in this chair again if it was the last thing I ever did with my final fucking breath of life. Thank you very much. Cheers. <laughs>